Hey guys, welcome back. Another one. Yes. I want to talk about Jada Pinkett Smith. And the way she's been embarrassing her husband, or whatever she want to call him, whether they're together or not, it don't really matter. Let's start thinking about what kind of world is a Jada Pinkett Smith going to live in? I don't know how old she is. Maybe in her late 40s, maybe 50. But if you're a woman like that is depending on Will Smith to always take her back. This is why I say simps are dangerous. So she's going to live her life like that, disrespect him, belittle him, degrade him, and all that. And he's probably going to take her back. But if he don't take her back, Jada's going to be alone for the rest of her life. I don't think she realized when you're in that position, when you're famous like that, you have to be careful how you carry yourself, especially now. A lot of men are not taking women back. Like, you can look at Tia Maori. Men are not take, dealing with women like that. They know they're trouble. Like, a lot of men used to make a lot of dumb mistakes. They take women, they deal with women they ain't got no business dealing with, like a Cynthia G. Although, whoever she dealt with, I believe he was broke. But, once you start realizing how men are moving now, because more men are getting took into the cleaners in court with child support and alimony. So, why would somebody want to deal with a Jane Pinkett? And there's a high probability that she's going to expose you anyway. So, I mean, who she's going to be with? A broke man? Nobody? Or Will Smith? This is why I say Will need to become a passport bro. Yes. Get you a little African in a small little village somewhere. Make her your queen. Make sure you always stay in alpha mode. Heck, I'll give her a couple babies and live my life. Like, that's how you get back at Jada. You don't got to do nothing else. Give her half. Either way, you still going to be good. It don't matter. And yeah but it, it's terrible what Jada's did it literally makes you think something wrong with her see the reason why women move like this cause they think they have all these options I really think a lot of older women become mentally ill because they don't they know they're not going to get that attention like they used to get like come on once we start realizing the dangers like how dangerous a woman is personality wise that actually put even rich women at risk and i'm saying at risk because once we realize they're more dangerous the more disrespectful they are the more we realize they have no value and once we realize that that's why i say a woman like a, a jada pinkett is on the same level as a little filipino from a village you never even heard of. And guess what? She's more valuable because at the end of the day, y'all both women, we don't care about your money, to be honest. Other than I could say, I slept with Jada Pinkett, so. But I'm going to get way more value out of the, that F Filipina because she, I'm going to be her center world. I don't have to worry about her talking behind my back or anything. So the more these women do, the more they open our eyes. They're only hurting modern women. They're literally killing modern women by moving this way. It's, 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 it's nothing good out of it. You're not doing women a favor by emasculating men. You're actually opening men's eyes to say, I'm not going to be Will Smith. And she's never going to get another high value man in her life. I mean, even if she left Will Smith, if they separated for other reasons, it was. I mean, I still don't see no reason any man would deal with a woman like her. But let's just say they did separate on good terms. Somebody might have seen value in her. I mean, she 
is a fine looking woman. I mean, not my cup of tea, but uh, like you just destroyed your heart. I mean, she probably didn't have much of a heart. But she destroyed her heart. Like, she will never find love again. And I know women probably going to come on here and attack me like crazy for saying that. But you got to look at it from men's perspective. Like, are y'all telling us you want us to be fools? Because only a foolish man would deal with a woman like that. Only a sucker would deal with her. Because that's what y'all looking for most of the time anyway. A sucker. Y'all not looking for no good situation. They either want a sucker or they want a high value man that got all the options in the world. And a man like that is going to mess with the best of the best. Like like uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. He gets the best of the best. And once they're used up, he toss them, toss them to the wayside. Yes. That's what high value men do. They don't have to take you serious. They just rotate. Because that's all we doing with American women anyway. They're used up. I don't care if they celebrities. By the time these celebrity women get married, they done been with like three or four men. They're used up too. We just don't realize what a used up woman is. We don't know what a valuable woman is in America. And it's sad. We don't have fathers having those conversations warning our sons what a, da- a good woman is, what a dangerous woman is. The more men she's been with, the more dangerous she is. The more likely is she's going to leave you. But what can I say? I don't know. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.